Hello everyone! In this how-to video, we will explore the new feature introduced in Cefeti version 8.9, allowing users to better account for the effects of delayed ignition, specifically addressing the potential risk effects of flash fire and explosion incidents. When conducting risk assessments, it is important to consider delayed effects of ignition to the risk. This means the time it takes for ignition to occur is accounted for, as well as the fact that personnel can escape and evacuate before the potential delayed ignition consequences occur. In previous versions of Safeti, the same probability of fatality is applied to all flash fire outcomes, regardless of the ignition time. In Safeti 8.9, users can now specify the maximum ignition times for flash fire and explosion risks, such that when ignition occurs after the time specified, then a vulnerability of zero will be applied in the risk calculations. To modify the fields associated with delayed flash fire and explosion risk, go to the Risk tab, and then within the Vulnerabilities folder, you have the Outdoor, Indoor, and the user-defined vulnerabilities. Now, this feature is available for any of these vulnerability options, but let's take the outdoor vulnerability as an example. You will see that there are new fields within the window associated with delayed flash fire and explosion risk. If the specify a maximum ignition time for flash fire risks checkbox is not selected, the same probability of fatality will be applied for flash fire outcomes regardless of the ignition time of the outcome. However, if it is selected, then the risk model will consider a vulnerability of zero for all flash fire outcomes when the ignition time is greater than the value specified within the maximum time for flash fire risks as shown here. The same principle applies to the explosion risks, whereby you need to select the checkbox for the model to ignore risks from explosion outcomes if the ignition time is greater than the value specified within the maximum time for explosion risks as shown here. So once this has been specified, then click OK and then run your model. Thank you for your attention and we hope you learned something new in this how-to video. 